Hi, I'm Glenn from Hit Motorsport, and today I bring to you the new Recurve IXI, new generation tuning module. There's only a few basic steps to set this up. First one is download the software, set up your own account, register your Recurve IXI to your account, read the vehicle, create a support ticket so that we can create the tuning files. And lastly, selecting a tune of your choice to be loaded into your vehicle. Our first step is to go to the Recurve website, that's recurve.com.au, go to support, and Recurve IXI, software download. Now it's, you can see it's downloading. Okay, when it's gone this far, just go to keep, click on that, the arrows show more, keep anyway, very important this part. And we're going to open the file. This is pretty easy so far, isn't it? Go to next. And then I agree. Next. Next. Yep, we have to leave the software to download all its components and complete the installation. Depending on your internet connection, this can take a little while to do. This is what is great about the new Recurve IXI. It is so simple to give your vehicle more power and torque and most times better fuel economy. It's this easy. All you need is a laptop and internet connection. After the program has downloaded onto your computer, you'll see on the screen a Recurve logo. We're gonna double click on this to open it up. When these windows come up, just click on Allow. Tool is not connected. Please connect your yeah. IXI. So plug in the device, which will take out of its case. How cute is that? It'll plug straight into your OBD in your vehicle. You will find underneath this box here, a special compartment. Ah, oh, look at that. You will find the USB-C cable. Plugged in there. Yeah, your recurve IXI is plugged in. It has a light showing there's a connection. Your yeah. software is identifying the device. Yeah, it's time to set up your account. Down right. the bottom, create an account. Put your full name in there. And I identify as Glenn Haddon. Then create a password. Good. Retype and authorize Confirm your password, you. then create an account. So now you need to go to your email and confirm your account. Now that I'm on my emails, I will click on activate to activate my account. And do not press sign in. Go back to your IXI, Recurve IXI software, fill in your email and password, and click on register your tool. Now if you do, you do happen to run into a situation like we did where we registered however didn't recognize it close the software down and reopen it then it'll come back like this click click on select vehicle t for toyota look at that toyota even comes up under t now i will find the luxe in here somewhere click on the engine you have click on obd and now it's time to hop in the car. We've just plugged the device into our OBD inside the vehicle. The vehicle ignition is off and we only turn the ignition on when the app tells us that we have to. You'll see at the bottom of the screen is a battery voltage. And if that voltage is below 12.7 volts, do not continue with the read. You'll need to hook up a battery charger or a 12 volt source to make sure that that battery voltage stays high because otherwise that can interrupt the connection and play havoc with your ECU. And here's a tip. If you're using a laptop computer, which 99% of you will be, make sure the battery in your computer is fully charged. The next step is connect to vehicle. So I'm gonna click on that, turn the ignition on. All the lights on the dashboard need to come on. If you have a button start, do not put your foot on the brake pedal. We do not want the vehicle to try and start. Ignition is on. Click on OK. 
the vehicle is now connected to the app and click on generate new session. Turn the ignition on. Ignition is on, click on OK. A new session needs to be created for every time you connect to a new vehicle. Now that the app is reading the ECU, it's very critical, very important that we do not open and close doors. We make sure there is a, like a battery charger or a constant 12 volts to the battery at all times, which we have right here. This process can take a little while. So just be patient and follow the, the steps on the screen exactly how they, they show up. Respect the procedure because the ECU can be damaged if we lose connection and we definitely do not want that. This is a very crucial process. This new Hilux is a full read. So that's why it's taken a long time. Where the previous models, previous like 2020, it's, it's over in no time at all. Bang, she's done. So you need patience with this. This initial setup takes a bit of time. All right, we have a 100% read here. The instructions on the screen say, turn the ignition off, then press OK. I'm turning it off and clicking OK. Turn the ignition on. The ignition is on. Flight from the dash, pressing OK. As it's uploading the file to the server, which is exactly what we want. Selecting OK, that's the only other instruction. You can turn the ignition off at this point and the full read has been done so now we need to go to the recurve website and create a support ticket okay so we go to support top right hand corner down to support portal click on that open a new ticket email address full name phone number so the help topic that i have chosen is tuning files for recurve ixi in the issue summary, I've written, please add tuning files. If you have any other comments, add them in the field below or just copy and paste the topic issue. Now our tuners have access to your factory file, ECU file. They will create the new tuning files and they'll be loaded on your, uh, your Recurve IXI. You'll be notified by email when they're ready to be loaded. And generally this happens between two to three hours during business days. So as you can see, the Hilux is on the dyno. It's going to get a dyno run with the standard file in it. Then we're going to load in the towering touring tune and run it again. It's what I call the lie detector. So what we're doing at the moment is we're doing three dyno runs on the standard tune. And that is to get consistency. And at the moment we're consistently at 167 horsepower at the rear wheels. Which is good horsepower. Like I said from Toyota, well done. But we're going to make it better. Yeah, when you receive your recurve IXI, there's no need to run it on the dyno. All that has been done back at the recurve dyno workshop. These tunes have been verified and tested time and time again on the exactly same vehicle as you have got. Now, good news. I have received an email from the recurve tuner that all the files have been added to my account. Over on the left-hand side here, we have files available for this unit. It's full of tunes. The first one here is the factory stock tune. Now that's the one that we sucked out of the ECU and sent off. Now that is used if you ever want to take the vehicle back to the manufacturer or you're, you're troubleshooting. And to, if you want to eliminate uh, any tuning files, you would go back to the factory stock tune. The next one is the towing and touring. So this is a great one if you're uh, hooking on the caravan or camper trailer. Your power will be down lower in the RPM. Fantastic if you're overtaking with a load on the back. It means you put your foot down, it's gonna go. Very efficient. A lot of people get better fuel economy on this one running around town with no, not towing. The next page is the valet tune. Now this one is pretty much like it's putting a speed limiter on your vehicle. It won't rev past a certain RPM that's preset. Well, if you're leaving the vehicle with like, children or some friends and you wanna know that it's not gonna get trashed, put your valet tune in. The next one is the power tune. Now this is one from right from idle all the way through to redline. You've got 30, 40% more power and torque. Use that one to go drag racing and fun on the beach. Extra power when you need it. And the last one is a balance tune. Now that is a tune that is say 50% of your, of your power tune. It'll give you power all the way through the rev, rev range. Let's say about 20, 25% more power and torque over standard, but it's through the whole rev range. 
most people will run this tune um, around the streets because it has got that extra power and torque. And most times, our customers are reporting much better fuel economy. If you select the incorrect file, I'll show you how we can go back. And I'm gonna select cancel because that's not the one I really wanted to do. So I'll go back to view all files. So I'm gonna click on this one. It is weaving its magic because there you go, it's downloaded. Now I'm gonna select right file. Now I need to turn the ignition on, so key in the ignition. All the lights are on the dash. Click on OK. And you'll notice on the screen, there's a few uh, codes coming up. Pre-collision system malfunction. Don't pay attention to it. This is perfectly normal in a writing process. It's actually writing faster than it was downloading. Just follow the instructions on the screen. It's now loaded, so turn the ignition off and press OK. Ignition is off, press OK. Ignition on, lights on the dash, click OK. And that's it, it's done. So I'll now turn the ignition off, pull the key out, disconnect from the OBD port. And that's as easy as that, tuning your car, tuning the silos. We will now run the, this vehicle with the towing and touring tune three times on the dyno to get an average. And we'll see how much we've picked up. Okay, well we have the difference between the standard file and the towing and touring. It's actually 35.1 horsepower difference or increase right across the rev range. That is fantastic. Enjoy your new recurve IXI. It is that simple to put in, in your car.